So this is uh, Security Guard Vanguard, and I have, of course, signed up in Marketplace and got an account, so I can sign in here. And this is uh, offered as a, as a, as a service, uh, so you don't have to install anything or, or download anything to run it. Uh, so for us to, or for the tool to be able to, to analyze your environment, you of course need to provide it with data. So the options we have right now is that you can provide the tool with access keys, or you can download a script and, and uh, collect the data uh, locally and then upload a, a file uh, to, to Vanguard instead. Um, and we will, uh, we will provide the opportunity to use uh, cross-account access uh, uh, within a few weeks as well. Um, so if you, um, if you provide your access keys, um, you, you let, basically let Vanguard read your environment and, and fetch data from, from there. And we can also include data from uh, Amazon Inspector, so we can fetch vulnerability scanner data directly, or you can provide data from a third uh, party vulnerability scanner as well. I'm gonna show you uh, the, the AWS CLI script way. So this is where you download a Python script that will uh, collect all the data for you locally, and then you can upload, upload the file yourself. And this is the recommended way uh, for us, so you don't have to provide the tool with any access keys. Of course, we don't, we don't save anything. Uh, Vanguard doesn't save any data or any keys, but this is still the, the preferred way right now before we get the cross-account access rules. So I have done uh, run this script, uh, and I upload the file here, and then I also have some third-party vulnerability scans uh, that I'm gonna upload. And then we hit configure. So all that you have to do as a user uh, when, when using Vanguard is to provide the data, of course. But then you also have to assign high value assets. So what is important to you in your environment? Uh, so we can select, for example, an, an RDS or, or any EC2 instances or S3 buckets, for example. Um, and there's, also, there's actually a tool in in Amazon, in AWS, called Macy, which can actually find buckets with high value information in them automatically uh, for you. So you can check that out as well. But I know what is important in this demo environment, and this is actually a actual demo environment that is running in, in our lab account. Um, so I will pick a few high value assets here. And we hit next. And then we get to choose the attacker profile. So what is the kind of threat that we are worried about? We have state sponsored, we have cyber criminal and opportunist. And this will actually, this will um, tune the, the, prob the probabilities in the simulation. So how likely, for example, is it that an attacker will uh, fish, your, fish your users, for example, or be able to develop new uh, vulnerabilities uh, um, in, in the simulation? And of course, state-sponsored attackers are the, the most capable ones, and they will typically be able to do spear phishing attacks and, and things like that. But for the sake of the demo, I will pick the, the middleman here, the cyber criminal, and then we are ready to, to simulate. So now it's running the, the Monte Carlo simulations on our model, uh, and it will have no contact with, with your act, actual AWS environment, so there's no worry about availability or, or anything like that uh, with your actual environment. So now the simulation is done. Uh, we can start off by looking at, at the model and our actual environment. So this is our, uh, this is our uh, demo environment. Um, so we have a few uh, EC2 instances, a few databases, there's some VPC peering. Uh, we have a few users a few groups, and this is not just a visualization of, uh, of our environment, this is actual working model. This is a digital twin of your, of your envi environment that we have generated. And if you remembered, I also included some vulnerability scanner data, and there is inspector data here as well. And if we look at this view, it might be a bit hard to see, but these columns are actually all of the CVEs or the vulnerabilities that the scanners have found on the on the different um, virtual machines. So there are 
uh, I think over a hundred of hundred vulnerabilities in in our in our environment. These are actual vulnerabilities reported by by vulnerability scanners. So this is our environment that we have simulated. Uh, let's go back to the report. So the first thing that we are faced with is uh, a brief overview of the high value assets that we have. So there's four of them right now in this simulation. And we get an indication of how easy it was for the attacker to actually compromise this asset. So we can, for example, look at the customer web server here. There's an internet facing uh, virtual machine, uh, basically. And we can look at the time to compromise, as I mentioned earlier. So now this graph is, is almost not visible because the attacker is succeeding all of the time within a, a day, basically. Uh, so it's super easy for the attacker to actually compromise this asset. And we can look closer at why that is. So this is one of the critical paths or the shortest path that I mentioned earlier. So this is the shortest path from the attacker. Uh, uh, and its entry point, which is the internet in, by default, to our high value asset, which in this case is the web server. So we can follow the steps of the attacker here um, and what configurations the attacker has used to actually, for example, transmit requests to a load balancer, then which are forwarded to uh, an Apache struts. And what we can see here is that there is a, a vulnerability here. Uh, that the attacker is able to to exploit uh, in in the most critical path. So this is the easiest way for for the attacker uh, through our through our environment. So the attacker is able to gain gain code execution and basically compromise the asset uh, the virtual machine instantly. So this is the most critical path or the shortest path from the attacker to our high value asset. But we can look at other paths as well. So uh, the paths that are still possible, uh, but less likely. Um, so these are all the paths which succeeded in the simulation for the attacker, uh, but they are less likely and, and, and will not ha happen as often in, in our simulations. But these are all the ways the attacker can succeed uh, in, in our simulation. And the dotted lines here are uh, as I mentioned earlier, we also account for uh, uncertainty and potential risk. So uh, we have an actual vulnerability here, but the second most dangerous thing in this in this simulation is that there will be a new vulnerability on Apache struts in the near future, for example. So the attacker is able to gain code execution from, from that as well. But they are dotted because they are uh, made from assumptions. So in, in this case, the the, the most critical path, path is, of course, the critical vulnerability that we have, the attacker is able to exploit. Uh, and based on the critical paths for all of our high value assets, we can then generate uh, choke points, which is basically uh, where the attacks converge in our simulation. So where are the weak spots in our environment or which assets are the attacker passing by to get to our, all of our high value assets? So for example, here we see Apache struts. It's a weak point in our simulation. Also the security group here that is allowing this, uh, this uh, traffic, we can look at that. And we can actually look at that security group in our AWS account uh, directly and see if there is any, any issues with that, with that security group uh, directly in AWS. Um, so if we go down a bit, we also have something we call threat summary. And these are uh, ranked threats. So these are the top threats in the simulation that will affect most of your high value assets. So in, on the top here, we see the, the, the CVE, the actual vulnerability on the Apache struts here on this uh, virtual machine that we call customer web server. And it's accessible to the user because of this security group. Um, and we can see other types of threats here that are allowing the attacker to succeed. Is for example, we have a user call, called uh, Adam here uh, that is vulnerable to credential theft because Adam has uh, active access keys on his accounts. Uh, and we can see this is dangerous because 
ADAM also have administer access, uh, administrator access in, in this model. So all of these threats will, will uh, eventually lead to that we have uh, such a high risk exposure uh, in this example. So this was just a, a brief demo of SecureCAD Vanguard. Uh, you can go into uh, Marketplace and try it out your, yourself. Mm -hmm.